time, you have to click click your mouse and then hit shift. You can only move Hey guys, so this video is going to go along with my last video I did about placeholder text in InDesign. It's just another tool to use when dealing with text and grids and whatnot. So I still have the placeholder text in my poster because I don't have informational text that I want to put in there. But say that you wanted in this area, you wanted it to be two broken up columns instead of one huge text box. So say you wanted your text to be maybe this big and then have another column over here. So as you can tell, the text doesn't all fit in this box, which is why there's a red plus over there. And of course you want whatever is left over in this text box to move back up over here and start in a new column. So how to do that is you just make a new text box and then you can easily hit this little plus button and bring it over here. So now when you click on this, you can see that an arrow signifies that the rest of the text is going to start back up in this column. So you can still see that there's another plus button, so you would have to either change the size of the text to get it all to fit, or maybe cut some out. But that's another helpful way to make it continuous and make it uniform. Time. You have to click click your mouse and then hit shift. You can only move the object in certain increments like it snaps.